peace cook little think fast i just realized you know the aspect of how our ego could get in the way of the soul fam you know coming back together and at some point you know for most of us you know at some point i grow we all have been guilty of this in some way form or fashion uh and that's it so not, not all most <laughs> but uh like this vibe you know we're taught like if i didn't grow up with y'all i don't you know are you not my family i don't know you like you know like where you come from like you know like and more so the ideal of it of course we don't look at everybody that comes to you know every new person and be like oh who the fuck is you or this and that you know what i'm saying and on that level but that construct is built into our subconscious on a level of like you know uh no matter if you feel an energetic connection, it's like just because I don't know you or haven't seen you, you know, like uh, I'm kind of like, kind of feeling funny about dealing with you, you know, type of vibe. And I realize on our growth too, you know, from from how they talk about the twin flame, uh, you know, their relationship as far as like one's the runner and one, you know, one is ready for, you know, uh, you know, looking for that connection, the other one like running, you know what I'm saying, from that connection. And twin flames don't necessarily always get together in that essence, you know what I'm saying, but it's just the fact, again, that we have a, a you know, aspect of ourselves that is the exact mirror. And that's sometimes why, you know, it may not work out, because again, it's like so much the same, you know, because again, as much as it's, uh, you know, twin flames are opposite, maybe in the sense of like, you know, uh, masculine and feminine energy but you know but still like as far as like you know the vibe of the unique vibration for lack of a better word like personality vibes you know just so so much alike you know that it kind of again it's like one runs from the other in, in some type of way form or fashion but also on my growth i realized you know again like where well, a certain soul fam may have presented themselves to me at a certain time where you know, I wasn't necessarily ready to receive, you know, their energy or, you know, that connection or, you know, or whatever the case may be. And, and just realizing, again, I'm just speaking, uh, you know, this more of a, like just a thank fast of me just, you know, presenting this. Though, so you could see, though, the process of how, you know, we always been, you know, presented like the universe always guided us like as much as a lot of us like oh man i'm always looking for my soul fam man with my soul fam at again not realizing you know that ego being sneaky and like as much as you like oh yeah with my soul fam like nine times out of ten you know you probably got presented with your soul fam but because they didn't look a certain way or talk a certain way or act a certain way you know they not from where I'm from or whatever, whatever, but like these little ego constructs that we kind of have built in, you know, may have deterred us from connecting with, you know, uh, our soul fam on so many levels. So, you know, just seeing again, you realize on all levels how important it is for us to drop that, that rigid egoic mind, you know, and stop letting the egoic thoughts, you know, uh, you know, run the situation again, letting the soul and the heart hop back into the driver's seat. You know, and uh, again, just realizing to follow to follow your heart. You know, with dealing with certain beings. You know, that heart discernment. Like, no matter how much you didn't want to know or feel a certain energy. You know, when you you know, especially if you quote unquote empath or sensitive to energy. You could say, I want to shut all my, my sensitivity off right now. <laughs> but you're still going, you know what I'm saying? Now, of course, we do have some level of uh, command over our energies and our own, uh, you know, our own soul in some way, form, or fashion, you know? Like, uh, I want my energy to be less sensitive in this area, y'all. You know, things of this nature. But for the most part, you know, you can't really turn that shit off. You know, like, you're going you gonna to have a heart's discernment. Even if you don't follow it, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're dealing with somebody and they, you know, it's like, it presents itself as good. So you're just going with it because of the way it presents itself. But then, it, like, really in your heart, you know, and your, 
And two, sometimes even the body or the heart will talk through like a little nudge, like a little ball in our stomach, you know, a little lump in the throat. You know what I'm saying? Like something on a bodily movement to let you know like, ah, man, you going with the wrong folk. You know what I'm saying? Are you dealing with, the, you know what I'm saying, the wrong energy? You know what I'm saying? Like it don't matter how it's presenting itself. You know, you got to use that heart's discernment. And that's why, again, uh, not only, you know, we're dropping that egoic mind, you know, and again, we're not killing the ego completely. The ego does have a healthy aspect in our existence, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the ego serves enough purpose to where, you know, or should I say serve the purpose of like, you know, shout out to uh, <laughs> Terrence McKenna with this analogy, I always use this. You know, whenever I get hungry, you know what I'm saying? I got to know to put the spoon in, in my mouth instead of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I have an ego enough to say, hey, I should be taking care of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that whole part of like in order to to do anything on this realm, you got to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that the ego, that, that ram energy, that number one energy, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, taking care of that aspect. But again, just being aware to uh so at the end of the day what i'm saying is you know be aware to not let your ego you know your the egoic mind or these egoic constructs of what we were taught as far as like dealing with certain people you know it's like don't don't close out you know uh you know the soul family due to uh you know these little egoic constructs and, and, and another thing too though don't try to push yourself like you know, uh, to grow faster than you're ready either, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't made it to that point to be, you know, on whatever level, you know, uh, say for instance that some, some soul fan may be coming to you, you know, like, because again, it's, uh, <laughs> it's different levels of growth, so like other soul fam, fam members may have got the, the message of the memo and, you know, you still ain't got it all the way, you know what I'm saying? Because again, that goes back to you know the cleanliness and the healthiness as well like you know the the cleaner the healthier you know or just more in tune the more clear our you know vessel is the clearer the messages come through and that's why a lot of us do be blocked from these messages as well and not to mention that uh you know uh the queens you know the the, the womb mans the females will uh you know, have a, a stronger psychic ability than the uh, than the kings, the masculine energy, you know, the males. So in most cases, you know, I've seen again where like the the queens are feel that vibe. I know, you know, the had that soul connection in the ethers and things of this nature. I remember these strong aspects of you know past lives when you as a male may be like I haven't had that dream or I haven't seen that vision or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So just be aware of that, you know, because, uh, again, I just see how that old egoic mind vibe of, you know, like, I don't know you, I ain't grew up with you or, you know, you know, those type of things could, you know, definitely make us rigid. But again, it's a balance that doesn't mean open up to everybody that got a crystal on and say they take psychedelics either. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know. <laughs> discernment heart like you gotta feel it you know it gotta fit usually you know what it feel like whenever i'm connecting with uh, uh like somebody that's from the soul fam it feel like i'm doing something wrong if i walk away like it's like bro you tripping if you like don't connect with this person right now at least have a conversation like you running like you know your ego got you running from you know this this connection so like you know you like most of the time it's gonna feel like, bro, if I don't speak to this person, man, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Or, or after that person may present themselves to you and then you kind of like probably cut the conversation short on some again, like, I don't, you know, I don't really know you like that. But then some hit you like, bro, don't let, you know what I'm saying? Like, better go speak or, you know, like that whole vibe, you know? So that's a, again, that's how I be, you know, feeling. Cause, I always feel like if it ain't a hell yes, it's a hell no, you know what I'm saying? And not necessarily that it have to be an extreme hell no, but just as a no, you know what I'm saying? Like if it ain't like, bro, like, bro, this bridging or cistern, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it's just a, a, a undeniable uh, vibe and connection where you just feel like, you know, again, like you, uh, 
you know, you're leaving something behind. Are you doing something wrong if you don't connect? You know what I'm saying? I say it wrong, but you know what I mean. You know, like, it, it just feel like I should be connecting with this person. You know. But just wanted to share that, you know, again, just because, uh, again, right now, we we remembering, re member remembering we getting the members back together you know you know just like as above so below as within so without certain aspects within my body you know it's remembering like you know certain little soul sparks and you know uh certain little aspects within the dna is you know connecting and you know connecting the dots like the ley lines you know are remembering or reconnecting you know or should i say you know uh the nadis and meridians within our bodies, aka ley lines, you know, like again, like as above, so below on this earthly plane, you know, has ley lines, and we have, you know, ley lines or aka nadis and meridians as well, which I do have a video, I think, on ley lines and separately nadis, nadis and meridians, in N A D I S, you know, and meridians, but definitely just wanted to share that with y'all. But peace, peace, happy now. Now's the vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now.